out of town buyers have huge concerns about safety in certain parts of town. What Jacksonville neighborhoods should you avoid? Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Elizabeth Peters and I'm a realtor with eXp Realty in beautiful Northeast Florida. Good neighborhoods is a term I see frequently among text messages and emails I receive relating specifically to criteria that needs met among many out-of-state buyers. It ranks up there as a top concern and this part can be tricky because as a realtor, there are certain guidelines I have to follow when it comes to sharing my personal views about neighborhoods and crime rates. This goes against my Realtor Code of Ethics and it violates the Fair Housing Act. In addition, the term good area is very subjective because I don't know what you consider a good area. Good to you and good to me could mean two completely different things. Usually when out-of-state buyers email me asking for recommendations on good areas, traditionally what they mean is that safety is a top priority, but legally and ethically. I hope you understand why I can't and don't want to directly answer questions about whether or not a specific neighborhood is safe. Taking a different approach, I'm gonna show you all about how you can research safe neighborhoods all on your own. Prime Maps are a great tool to help you narrow your search. And the one I often recommend is Community Crime Map. If you already have an address in mind, you can type that into the search bar or you can simply type in the city and have the ability to zoom in and zoom out of different areas. You can filter it to show specific crimes or you can apply all options. You can select to view it as a list where it shows you the street or select the graphs and charts where it even shows you what days of the week have the highest amount of activity. Remember, this should only be your starting place. Don't let this be your final determining factor before seeking more information. Realtor.com even removed their crime mapping feature for the time being in order to reevaluate what safety means to buyers and to decide how they're gonna share this information going forward. That feature might come back and this isn't the first time they've removed it. But I do know the Jacksonville area very well and I can tell you that some of the areas that are gonna pop up for high crime are some of the most popular neighborhoods and they also fall under the category of some of the most expensive neighborhoods in Jacksonville. This is definitely a good tool as a starting place. But don't end your search here. I encourage people to dig a bit deeper and check out city and county websites. Of course, websites and maps will only take you so far, but are a great place to begin. To bring your search to even more specifics, you can call the local police departments on their non-emergency lines. They are allowed to give you reliable, unbiased information, right down to the neighborhood, right down to the street, right down to the house and its surrounding residents. Depending on who you get on the phone, this can be a very good resource to tell you everything you want to know. I'll link the non-emergency lines for Northeast Florida in the description, but look into your specific areas if you're not heading to the Jacksonville area. The next thing you should do to determine if a certain area is a good fit would be to join the community Facebook groups. And if you're let in, go ahead and search around in there. See what the residents are saying. You can find groups that are neighborhood specific and city specific. You can find all sorts of things when it comes to the neighborhoods you're interested in. You might find posts that are both incredibly negative and incredibly positive. When that happens, maybe push all of those to the side and focus on the average. My favorite thing is when my out-of-state buyers actually have the opportunity to take the time and come visit the area. They go into the local businesses, into the shops, into the restaurants. They talk to the locals. And this is a really great way to gain knowledge about the area. They take the time to drive around. Drive around at all different times of the day to see what the environment is like. Parents will seek out the parks and the playgrounds. Dog moms and dads can do the same thing. Drive around and look for your dog parks. And find other people who can offer you some insight. You might find that people love talking about where they live, whether it's good or bad. Just remember that good and bad mean totally different things for different personalities. Traveling to an area that is sometimes on the other side of the country is just not an option for some people. Another great way to do this is to jump on Google Earth. Type in the location, it can be city or street specific. Get on Street View and simply go for a virtual walk. Wander around on there, look at the surroundings. Take into consideration the houses, the cars, the streets. Are there commercial strips close by? Is the area well kept? Are you seeing businesses you might wanna check out? Focus on the negative and the positive things you're seeing. Research the schools. If you have school-aged kids, great. You are likely already doing that anyway. If you don't have school-aged kids, you should still research the schools for one very good reason. Remember earlier when I said people often reach out to me about good areas? 
Safety ranks as one of the top concerns when people say that. And the other reason that ranks up there as reasons people ask for good areas are the schools. Buying a home in a good school district is a wonderful idea, but selling a home in a good school district is even better. It is a huge factor that will affect your ability if you decide to sell your home years down the road giving you tremendous equity in your home. There are a lot of deciding factors that can go into what area you want to live in. The reality is that you're the only one who can make this decision. Everyone has a different definition of what feels like a good area to them. And unfortunately, no area will ever be 100% crime free. I hope this information provides a helpful way to find areas that are gonna be a good fit for you. If you're buying or selling a home in the Jacksonville area, feel free to send me an email at elizabethtalksjacksonville at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Happy house hunting.